Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. San Bernardino and Riverside County Supervisors are, got together recently to talk about the major issues in their counties and to try to come up with some solutions. And with us now is San Bernardino Supervisor James Ramos to talk about that and some other things. Glad you're here. Thank you. And yes, um, San Bernardino County and, and Riverside County Board of Supervisors did get together because we identified a lot of issues that really affect us as a region. Um, not so much of one county versus another, but as a region, if we could pull together our resources and, and really collaborate on the issues that are, that are facing us. Well, where we're do be you overlap forward. as a region? We actually um, overlap along the Grand Terrace um, areas out there between San Bernardino County and Riverside, um, also out in the uh, Rialto, Colton, Colton areas. And what are there. the issues that you can work together on to really make a difference? Some of the issues are transportation, mm -hmm. certainly um, the healthcare industry, and uh, overall building a coalition of support because between the two county boards of supervisors, we represent over 4 million people here in our area. And that's a lot of people that we represent. But yet we need to be able to form this coalition so when we go out and speak at the different organizations throughout the state that we're able to, to start to identify those issues and moving forward in a unified way. Um, did you identify any issues at this recent meeting? We did. Mm -hmm. We identified transportation mm -hmm. as an area that we need to look at um, and actually pursue grants. And it, we could actually, if we pulled together as a coalition and come together and talk about other um, counties now coming in, we, we could probably go after some, some more grants that are out in that area, huh. as well as the healthcare industry. What are we doing um, throughout the region for the healthcare industry? And not so much of, of what it is that the hospitals are providing, but how do we get the educational components of, of getting those doctors ready and, and retaining that knowledge here in the local region? Mm. Uh, one of the issues you've been working on is the rail to Redlands. Right. Uh, tell people about that. The rail to Redlands is actually a a public transportation system under Measure I money mm -hmm. that's um, coming through and we're hoping to move it forward and it's actually in public comment now and uh, it's a rail to Redlands it's going to be able to take people all the way from the LA area through San Bernardino and into Redlands and one of the biggest things about that is that you have private and public dollars coming together ESRI um, has agreed to put a, a depot up as well as the University of Redlands um, with President Kunsel um, moving forward in, in those areas. So you're going to see those stops at the University of Redlands and at ESRI bringing synergy and economic development to the east end of San Bernardino County. You've also been working uh, with youth homelessness mm -hmm. and helping identify exactly what a homeless youth is in hopes of getting them more help. It is, and, and really, it's a, I, I believe it's a crisis here in San Bernardino County. When you have the county schools um, identifying over 30,000 homeless youth, and yet under that definition of what the schools use versus what, what HUD is using, where HUD identifies far less than that, over, under about 2,000 homeless altogether, not just youth, but altogether, whereas the schools are identifying over 30,000 homeless youth, then we know there's, there's, a, there's a big gap in the discrepancies as far as the definitions of what HUD uses and what the school system uses. So we actually um, worked with Senator Feinstein's office and she introduced, introduced a piece of legislation um, that, that just came up and it's called the Homeless Children and Youth Act of 2014 that starts to identify those things and bringing those definitions into play. And it's important for us to understand what it is that we're dealing with in San Bernardino County. Um, that the youth, there's a lot of youth that are homeless as well as homeless in general, so that we could better um, collect the data so that we could go after that funding that we could actually bring that support back here to our region. Yeah, because you think what uh, does it matter if they're identified, but that's how you get the source of the money from the feds. We get the source of it, and not only that, we're able to tackle those issues so that we would actually be able to start to work on on that homeless issue with our with the youth that are attending our schools. San Bernardino County Supervisor James Ramos, thank you so much. Thank you. For being here. We're glad you could be here too. I'm Leslie Layton.